hello everyone so i want to say a very big welcome back again to my channel if this is the first time that you're joining welcome my name is oma and in this channel we talk about everything trending today's video we're going to be talking about this very woman that actually stabbed her boyfriend to death for cheating on her in a state it's so funny that some girls can go through any lens just based on their jealousy why do you have to take the life of someone who are you to take the life of someone just because you feel like oh this person is cheating on you there are so many men out there numerous men out there and then this one man is the one that you have to die for no that's not how it's done it was said that two days before this guy's death he had posted he had posted on his facebook page we, we all know that gist right of the bolu that um, the bam daily that was burnt by his wife also and also how the wife even killed herself after she killed her husband and this guy actually shared it he shared it on his instagram page and he he said if i cheat leave me go i beg it's not a do or die thing and did he know that two days later that this this um his own girlfriend was going to kill him based on the fact that he was cheating? It's possible that he even saw it coming. It's possible that he knew that this his girlfriend was very toxic because I can never understand it. Even from the chats that he was having with his friends, it showed that he knew he had an idea that you know that the the girlfriend that he was dating was very toxic because for you to actually have you know posted that that oh if i die you leave me go out beg you must have known that mm, this guy this this guy i'm with or this my own girlfriend if he bomb me oh ha, me to make her shine my eye make her make her open eye make her be careful because this one that somebody's wife could burn the husband go as much as burn the husband because he was cheating Obviously, he was also cheating. That's why he posted that thing on his, his on his page. You know, if I if I cheat, leave me go I beg. And then this girl, his girlfriend, it was said that she went to his house. She she actually had a fight with him previous day before she went to his house and killed him. She found out that he was cheating on her, and then she went to confront the the girl and confront both of them. She even like had to even fight with the girl that she found him cheating on she found that um he was cheating on with her so later now after they resolved the whole thing probably she went to his house to act as if no oh yes let us have a conversation about what i i found out that you did to me and then he was trying to break up with her she already have a child from a previous relationship so now this guy when he was dating her decided to take her in to take care of her take care of her child and now because he was cheating on on this girl so she decided to go to see him to confront him about the matter probably he was trying to break up with her because i can never understand why a girl would just decide in her own mind that she wants to kill somebody somebody that have not even married you i i don't i don't understand why so many women just feel like they have ownership towards someone See, let me tell you, even when the person marry you, does not mean that, oh, the person does not have a, a say or does not have a life. Whatever the person wants, let the person do, you don't have a right to take someone's life based on their own decision, even if it's a wrong decision. Sometimes, uh, people need to have really confidence in themselves to understand that if someone is not choosing you, you, you leave the person, let the person go. It's not by force somebody is not choosing you then you what do you want to do you want to force yourself on the person so now they have caught her she has gone to prison now who is going to take care of her child her child that she has who is going to take care of her child going to kill someone just because of the, the person cheated on you that is absolutely rubbish that's absolutely rubbish me if you are going to leave me i won't be happy because i know i know that i am the whole package and then if somehow God has made you to leave me, I know that it is a good thing in my life. I don't really see it as a bad thing, you know, when people leave my life, I swear. Because I have noticed one thing in this life. Those people who get to, like, live your life, if you still try to be forcing them to still be in your life, eh, they will cause you more troubles. So anytime someone is saying, I'm leaving, let the person go. Ah, 
could you bring another person? What would you not say? No, this husband and wife situation is, is a do or die affair. Like, seriously, it doesn't make any sense. If someone said, I don't want to be with you, let the person go. Someone else will come. God will bring someone else. And even if God does not bring someone else, you are you are perfect. You don't need any man to complete you. You don't need to be killing anybody. You don't need to be you don't need to be feeling like you are nothing without a man. As a woman, you are something. You don't need to be feeling like hey, you have to have a boyfriend or, or you have to have a husband before yes, you have a what. I feel like that's what a lot of you know a lot of people have put in in the minds of a lot of ladies that that just make them feel as if no oh okay i need to have a man you know and if i don't have a man then i'm i'm nothing no that's not how you should live because at the end of the day now this woman uh, have killed this guy this innocent guy have killed the guy because of what because he's cheating on you Okay, now from a reliable source, it said that the Edo police um, command have arrested Favor. Her name is Favor. The police have arrested Favor, who was previously declared wanted for stabbing her boyfriend Paul. You know, he is even 25 years to death. Ah, so young. According to viral reports, Favor and the deceased were lovers who were who were the envy of so many people they share their loved up content on tiktok and other social media platform trouble started when favor found that handsome was allegedly cheating an argument ensued between them which soon turned into a fight and she started in the process wow the disease was rushed to the hospital where he was confirmed dead favor went into hiding after the incident confirmed her arrest her arrest the spokes um, spokesperson of the state police command asp jennifer said consequence upon this act the commissioner of police cp abutu immediately uh, um, ordered the area commander and police officer in charge of Alshe to smoke out the fleeing girl on hot the command wishes to inform the general public that following cre- um, credible intelligence gathered by operatives of the command, the suspect was arrested in Benin at about 2 to 4, 5 hours. The strict investigation have commands and the suspect is making useful information and will be charged to court soon. In a related development, the spokesperson said the police have rescued three traditionalists who were ab- Doctored. Oh my god. She stated that on the 25th July 2022, at about 1 pm, the command through its division headquarters received a complaint that hoodlums suspected to be kidnappers accosted her and whisked into the bush. Three traditional worshippers who had gone to a river along the Benin for prayers. Upon receipt of the information, the police immediately mobilized its operators with a scene in hot per- pursuit of the hoodlums and possibly rescue of the victims. The hoodlums, sensing the presence of operators of, on their trail, were forced to abandon their victims and fled to the bush. The victims have since been re- reunited with their families. Meanwhile, intense bush combing is still ongoing to, to neutralize or arrest the hoodlums anyways my one is that this is not right finally i remember like i i read the news somewhere and that was actually when i even got to know about this news and when i read the news like i just asking myself like why are girls becoming so desperate to have somebody in their life that they feel like when the person cheats on them or when the person leaves them they are, then they are nothing like seriously you need to be able to control your emotions to understand that see when a man leaves you move on with your life it's not it's not by force and don't be feeling like your words is, is attached to, to one man your words is not attached to anybody your words is not attached to anybody anyway guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to like the video um leave your comments in the comment section below what you think of this story i'll see you guys in my next video bye for now